Hello everyone, welcome to the video on concept of false neurotransmitter. In this video, I will explain 2019 Central Drug Inspector question. Look at the question first. The term false transmitter related to which one of the following drugs? Options given are hydralazine, methyl dopa, sodium nitroprusside and minoxidil. Now this question is related to adrenergic nervous system. Now in adrenergic nervous system, the neurotransmitter is norepinephrine. It is biosynthesized at the end of neuron. The synthesis starts with tyrosine. Tyrosine is converted to dopa with the help of an enzyme tyrosine hydroxylase. Dopa with the help of enzyme dopa decarboxylase, it is converted to dopamine. Dopamine gets into vesicle, inside the vesicle with the help of an enzyme dopamine beta hydroxylase, it is converted to norepinephrine. This is what is the biosynthesis in adrenergic system. Now, what do you mean by fast neurotransmitter? See, there is a drug called as methyl dopa. Methyl dopa is used to treat hypertension. When methyl dopa, dopa is given, it gets into the neurons. It is structurally similar to dopa. Look at the structures. In alpha carbon, only a methyl group is there to the dopa. Hence, it is called as methyl dopa. Now, because of this structural similarity, methyl dopa gets into the neuron. In the neuron, dopa decarboxylase acts on methyl dopa. So, methyl dopa is converted to methyl dopamine. Again, methyl dopamine is structurally similar to dopamine, hence dopamine beta hydroxylase enzyme acts on methyl dopamine and it converts methyl dopamine to methyl norepinephrine. This methyl norepinephrine is, a, is not a natural neurotransmitter. This is called false transmitter. So when there is a signal, this false transmitter methyl norepinephrine will get released, but it will not activate alpha or beta receptors. That is the reason why it is called as false transmitter. Then what is the mechanism of action of methyl dopa? Now, so when methyl dopa is given, it finally gets converted to a false neurotransmitter, methyl norepinephrine. When it is released, it will not activate alpha beta receptors, but it activates alpha 2 receptors, alpha 2 or presynaptic autoreceptors. When these receptors are activated, norepinephrine biosynthesis is inhibited. So by giving methyl dopa, norepinephrine biosynthesis is reduced. So norepinephrine effects will not be there. So hypertension will get controlled. So methyl dopa is a choice of drug to treat hypertension in pregnancy. So the question false transmitter is related to methyl dopa. So the answer is option B methyl dopa. Look at the other drugs. Hydralazine, sodium nitroprusside, minoxidil. All of them are vasodilators. Hydralazine, minoxidil are arterial vasodilators. Whereas sodium nitroprusside is arterial as well as vasodilator. So this sodium nitroprusside is a choice of drug to treat severe hypertension. It is given and immediately it causes vasodilation, blood pressure gets controlled. So this is what is the question. I hope this is useful. All the best.